What's up hackers, welcome back to another episode of Hack Crypto. If you guys are brand new here, slap a like on this video, it gets it out to more people, and we do everything around education with Web3. If that sounds good, hit the notification bell. In this video, I'm going to be going over Bitcoin mine tricks. If you've never heard of cloud mining, this was a space that was ripe with scams. Many years ago, in 2017 specifically, there were scams everywhere where you would send funds to an address and you'd have like a live stream feed of a you know big warehouse where there are people walking around and there are all these mining rigs mining bitcoin and what happens is you rent hash power so you would send your all your funds to this you know weird looking warehouse thing that was a website and you'd have a live stream where you could look and kind of see what was going on and that was made to be the transparency it was this live stream feed that was usually on a loop in many cases and it was a trend like it took off like crazy because people wanted to get involved in mining in 2018, I remember I bought, I think it was 40 GPUs, RX 580s, and we had them running and it was mining as much as I could. And of course, with the collapse and the pullback back then in the bear market, I had to just liquidate it all. And I was actually doing like a co-location thing where I knew the guys, they were running it and they were called DigiGold. And it was, it was a great experiment where I learned about mining, learned how it all worked. They were managing the rigs at a different location. And it was more of a relationship there uh, when they went under, you know, they refunded as many investors as they could. And it was just a crazy situation. But these cloud mining operations at scale, they were all digital, usually anonymous, you know, running out of like Iceland or Poland. They were, you know, just rug pulls basically. And one of the real issues with the space was that no one was controlling the funds. They were just, you'd send it to a wallet. I got scammed by three or four different ones back then when I was doing a lot of mining content and staking content. And the issue was around custody, of course, with a lot of things. FTX is a great example. And not your keys, not your crypto. So ultimately, people needed to disrupt this. NiceHash still does it this way. They've been around for a long time. And you know you rent mining power hash rate on there, and you can earn passive income and things like that. But there was never really a decentralized approach until this project came out, Bitcoin Mine Tricks. Now, I've dug into their white paper, and there's a lot of really interesting mechanisms here around utilizing Ethereum and staking and burning to get credits for this cloud mining aspect. So if there's rigs running already, you have to actually get a buy-in that means that you're holding on to your funds this entire time and getting access to those mining credits. And this is a new approach that's fully self-custodied where you're actually able to, you know, burn assets and pick up new assets in which you earn passive income from. And those are being produced by the mining rigs. So it's like a kind of a market for hash rate, which is similar to nice hash, but except you're holding on to your tokens the entire time. As a full disclaimer, I reached out to the team and asked if they'd be down to partner with the channel for this video. So this is technically a sponsored review, but ultimately I am very interested in the whole co-location and cloud mining concept. I think it's a beautiful example of lowering the barrier to entry. You don't have to understand all the technical aspects of you know running a ton of GPUs or ant miners or whatever. You don't have to understand all that. You can just get involved as an investor. And this has been a problem for since Bitcoin mining was created. And I think a lot of people want to get involved, but they just don't know how, and they don't know the technical hurdle. They don't have access to cheap electricity, low cost, you know, rigs, all of that. So there's a lot of hurdles that it takes. So this problem has been really kind of in the space for a long time. So I really wanted to approach this in a unique way. So I'm going to dive onto the white paper, dig into the step-by-step -step way of how this flow works. You guys can make your own determination. Check out the link in the description to learn more about what they are doing. And I think it's a cool take on how the approach can work, where if you're buying tokens, burning them and getting access to credits that are coming from rigs, I think that there's really cool potential there. So I'm going to go over the benefits and then the drawbacks to cloud mining in general first. The benefits, we'll start with those. That doesn't require any technical expertise. I briefly mentioned this before, but that is a huge hurdle for a lot of people. There's no upfront hardware expenses. You don't have to have a whole ton of thousands and thousands of dollars to throw at hardware that you have to learn how to put together and get it all running, even excluding the cost of electricity here, that that would be costing you. There's no direct, direct heat 
or noise, of course. Now the heat is no joke. I remember people were mining it in an apartment I was living in, in Mountain View, California, many years ago, back in 2014. They had rigs set up in 3M liquid that was literally like making it cool. And it was just a crazy experience living in, in an apartment with all of that happening. Very loud, very hot <laughs> experience. And the benefits are, of course, you get passive rewards. The idea is that your machines are computing and they're running all of the computation needed to solve the equations with hash rate and they're able to get the rewards and you can just sit back and collect after you've done this huge heavy lift of the technical uh, you know, setup and everything like that. So the benefit of cloud mining is you do not have to worry about any of that. You can just collect your rewards and the drawbacks are fraud. There's just a ton of fraud in this space, left and right. Because if you think about it, if I have all the rigs and people are giving money to support my mining operation, it's basically a means to an end, especially when there is the drawdown in price, because then it becomes less profitable for you and your margins get eaten and you have a choice to make where you can keep running or you shut it down or you just dip out and just rug. So there's a couple different routes that people have taken and I've been invested in ones where I got rugged. I've been invested in ones where they shut it down. And ultimately nice hash is really the only one that's kept running that I know of. But ultimately this one with Bitcoin mind tricks has a very unique approach here. So the next one is lack of autonomy regarding the mined cryptocurrency. So you don't really know what's being mined. For example, with nice hash, you know, theoretically think different coins are being mined when you're buying hash rates, but hash rate, but it's just, uh, you don't have any transparency there. It's very, very unknown and it's kind of a black box. So the reduction in profits due to the fees and operating costs, the fees on some of these like riot blockchain, their mining operation is massive. They're one of the biggest ones in the world. And just the operational headache of this is insane. I mean, millions of dollars to keep a facility like that running and cooled and keep the noise down. But it is an incredible expense to take on. The uh, last one here that I wanted to go over was mined crypto is subject to market volatility. Like I mentioned, in the event that the price goes down, boom, you're unprofitable and only the biggest mining pools and mining operations can sustain drawdowns for certain periods of time before they have to just shut all their machines off and re recalibrate for the next run. So there is a level in which that does not make sense. It's great when the numbers are going up, but when the numbers are coming down, it is chaos. Okay, now the six biggest cloud mining scams to ever hit the crypto market. The first one is Fancy Crypto. Second one is Happy Miner. I mentioned that previously. Next one is ID Mining, USD Miner, Mux Miner, and NFT Pro X. And these were extremely questionable all throughout, but a lot of people just want access to that passive income. And many people in this space really just want to get in first and then get out. Okay, in walks Bitcoin Mine Tricks. I'm gonna walk through the actual workflow here of how it starts. So you buy the BTC MTX token, and this is what you're gonna stake. So you stake those, you lock them up, and that earns mining credits. Now, once you burn those credits, so you, you stake, that unlocks the mining credits that you're getting on the Ethereum blockchain, and then you burn those, you get allocated mining time. And that mining time is the hash rate that's coming from the Bitcoin miners. So to repeat the steps here, the buying of the BTC MTX token, the locking that up to stake, you're getting your mining credits, you're burning those mining credits to get your hash rate and your mining time. So all hash rate being provided when you burn that uh, earned credit is key here because if it's being passed through with staking, that means that you're holding on to your keys this entire time. So you have full custody, you decide to burn and you get the credits. So each step of this involves the custody and you are able to hold it. You're not sending it to some strange wallet address. You see everything on chain and you of course can withdraw the mining, the BTC to a personal wallet because you have it on chain. It's locked on chain, everything is there. And I think that this is a really unique approach because it's basically four steps utilizing every functionality 
that Ethereum really empowers people to use each step of the way while you're holding onto your wallet. So there's no require, requiring of sending funds to some kind of sketchy place in Poland that's live streaming their facility. It's the tokenization of the, uh, the process of acquiring hash power. And I like that the process for acquiring hash power used to just be send it to the wallet, watch the live stream, cross your fingers. But now you actually are utilize, you've, you've broken that up into this whole process of tokenizing the, that whole process of getting access to that operation. So the goal of Bitcoin Mine Tricks here is to really rejuvenate the cloud mining space. And it's definitely in need of one. And I hope that these guys can really pull this off because it's such a powerful concept if it can work. And the tokenization utilizing, you know, the whole concept of Ethereum and staking and staking to mine, I think is a beautiful example of leveraging proof of stake to help with proof of work. Because proof of work is, is not perfect, neither is proof of stake, but utilizing each other to really implement something that works for the average person to get access to this and aligning the stakeholders and the cloud miners and everything so that it works is really what I'm interested in following here. So they claim that, you know, this is very transparent, everything's on chain, and I can see that, that they are really trying to keep this as a full self-custody solution here. And it is aiming to be the vanguard of tokenized cloud mine. That is it for my overview of Bitcoin mine tricks. This is a really clever take on tokenizing the entire cloud mining space. I think it's a cool concept. Will it be the number one cloud mining? I'm not sure, but it's definitely worth checking out. That's what I try to do on the channel is bring you guys some of the coolest projects that I think have the chance to potentially disrupt a whole space. And with NiceHash and some of these big mining operations out there, they're making an absolute killing on the different hash rate people investing. And I think that this is something that could really upend that because it's self-custody wise. And I'm a firm believer in self-custody. So the stake to mine concept, BTC MTX token, the mining credits, burning those mining credits to get that mining time is such a cool approach to tokenizing this whole process. So definitely check this out with the links in the description. Research on this, I'm gonna be digging around, playing around on the pre-sale. They do have a pre-sale going on over the next couple of weeks, I believe. So definitely follow them, see when that goes live. And let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Let me know if you think this type of video is helpful. And when it comes to research during a bear market, mining and passive income through staking and everything is something that you really want to learn about because in the run-up if you're staking and mining when it's down and then when things go up in parabolic you're actually accumulating substantial amounts of revenue and this is something that a lot of people don't realize during a bear market is the time to learn and establish new tools and get them all set up for the run-up so that is it for this video i hope you guys like it slap a like on this video and i will see you here on the next episode of hack crypto